Hi, welcome to the engineering YouTube video. So this video, what I'm going to do is give you two elements towards the lead up to the pre-public exam and their final exam. So first, I'm going to talk to you about unit one. Unit one is their examination unit. In unit one, what they are required to do for their pre-public exam is make sure that they go on to show my homework and all the learning mats that they can download, they go through those. It's really important that they learn all the terminology in each of these maths, as those are what are required within their answers in their test. So that's unit one. So what they also need to do for unit one is continue to practice their drawings, continue to practice their orthographic drawings, and to make sure that they don't lose any marks um, in their, in their pre-public exam or the final exam. So that's unit one. The second unit, unit two, is their coursework. In their coursework, what they're going to require to do is complete elements of their PowerPoint presentation. Now, their PowerPoint presentation will include photographic evidence of which they must make sure that they pull it in. They've got approximately three weeks to complete this particular element. And in this element, there, what they will have on the February the 13th and February the 14th, two full focus days in order to help them complete any of the pr practical elements. So what do they need to do prior to that in the next three weeks? Firstly, they need to complete their 2D designs. So their 2D designs, they need to have uh, photographic evidence taken from a screenshot, put into their PowerPoint. That's the first thing. The second thing they need to do is make sure that they have completed their cutting list. Their cutting list shows them all the different diameters, the tolerances, that needs to be completed in the same manner of time. Okay, so the third element that they have to do is planning of the manufacturer. With this particular aspect here, what they must do is indicate how long it, they think it's going to take them to do each of the separate elements. So that part is really important because that supports the, the, the fourth part. So next, they need to identify the risk assessment. Now, for the risk assessment, it needs to be that they can use the support document that is alongside that on their PowerPoint. That gives them the terminology and the wording that they need to be incorporating. So finally, what they need to do is the record of making. Now they can do this in the next three weeks right the way up to the part where, uh, where they've done the acrylic section. So this is all the manufacturer part. In this, it must be detailed. It must use the language that they have been revising for their, from their learning mats, and it must also correlate with what they've done on their plan of manufacturer. So for instance, when they're looking at it, if you want to help them, they're from Point step one to five is about doing the, step, the rods. So on step one to five on here, they would then describe what they've done, the risks associated with that, and they must include a photographic evidence of what we just um, showed you. So all those things need to be done within the next three weeks. The revision for the PPE exam, which is in the next four weeks, can be taken from this, but all of this put together will support them for their final grade. So the final qu uh, question is, what does each contribute to? The unit two is their coursework that contributes to 50% of their final grade. Their exam contributes to 25% and they have already completed 25% in, in unit three in their um, year 10. 